Hello and welcome to another edition of Art by Miranda. I'm Miranda and this is my sketchbook. So you're watching a sketchbook video. Okay, this sketchbook I know has taken me like, I'm sure this is, I don't remember when I wrote in it, but this has been a long time coming to finish this one because, and I'll tell you why, it's a uh, marker paper or pen paper. And so I would do pen drawings just a little by little and slowly filled it up. Okay, so it looks like I don't have a date on the first one or first couple of pages. Just doing some tests. Here's an unfinished one of my character Bill Boy getting, if he was getting like tied up from these two squirrels, uh, I would watch uh, my dog and my boyfriend's dog at the time. They would watch the squirrels in the tree and the squirrels would be just like tormenting them. So I named them Burley and Shirley the squirrely and uh they are they still live at our house or at least i pretend they live at our you know house and torment the dogs aha this is funny that i come across this this is ia one of my first dungeons and dragons characters she was made to be a serious role a monk uh that was a t okay so first of all she's a typhling a typhling is like half demon half human or something like that and so they have a bad rap and so she to you know fight her bad rap became a monk which this is her in her little monk's cloak so she wanted to become a monk to try to you know not necessarily clear a, a typhling's name but show that you know typhlings can be good the other day, I played Ia and I decided to flip that on its head and that she's a hippie. So <laughs> she went from, you know, well, she, she loved nature before and now she's all about nature and the universe and living as a spirit of the wild. I don't know. But here were some of Ia's first adventures she had. As a, oh, but she was definitely still crazy. Um, cause she can think that she talk, can talk to plants. Oh, uh -huh, this is cute. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Here is Gobble. One of my Halloween characters that I draw every year. And his best friend Goyle. This little tiny gargoyle. That tries to be scary, but he's really not. Billboy and Charlie. Getting treats. A monster, I guess. Ah, this is one of my favorites. So I call this one The Witchy Gardener. And I'm thinking now, this might be from 2014. As I'm, I'm trying to remember. Uh, but this definitely has a likeness somewhere in there of my grandma. At least I, I see it anyways. Um, this is a little old witch and she's just gardening and raising, you know, flowers that bite with her black cats. Uh, I would definitely like to do more with this character one day. She just seems like just a sweet little old lady. More pit bulls. What? I've never drawn a pit bull before. That's strange. Just kidding. Here's a bulldog and a poodle. <laughs> that guy, I think, was just kind of practice for fun. This guy, I called him Scared Pitless. <laughs> just, you know, more pit bull humor. <clears throat> oh, yep, 2014. This was when my daughter was born. And I remember that me and my fiancé were just trying to take turns, you know, holding her. We just wanted to hold her all the time. <clears throat> this little party armadillo, which I never colored. I always thought that I should. I would, probably will one day. Aha, another character named Cliff. Now, Cliff was larger than life. Oh, here's this little mama bear and baby bear that I was drawing for my daughter. Okay, here's Cliff again. Cliff was my second, or se yeah, my second, like, Dungeons and Dragons character. And while Ia had a more, you know, serious story, Cliff was, this was a goofball. He was actually an actor who pretended to be a hero. And so that was my excuse for if I rolled low, then, oh, well, Cliff, Cliff doesn't, he doesn't really fight. He doesn't know what's going on. And so it was a funny little, 
a funny thing was born basically when I did that. And I really liked it. This is just how I play Dungeons and Dragons now. I try to find a flaw in the character that makes up for my, uh, you know, for when I suck. <laughs> but yeah, Cliff ended up dying on a, in a pit of spikes, actually. Poor guy. Oh, goodness. I don't like Creepy Carl at all. Little uh, pen sketches. a character named Lacey, and she's a collie. Oh, this is Early Bird and Night Owl. As you can see, oh, and we've moved into 2015 now. They uh, are quite different. This is how me and my fiancé are. Uh, I'm the Early Bird, and uh, he's the Night Owl. So in the morning, he's a grump. In the night, I am a grump. <laughs> my pit bull, Cletus. You know, he loved to eat. He really did. I don't know what, I don't think he ever had a name, but it's just another pit bull. Oh, here we go. Rolls Royce and Mercedes. Ah, and here is my favorite Dungeons and Dragons character, Dimble. I played him the most. He is a 300 year old gnome. He is a ranger, so he has a companion, which is a hyena uh, named Buttercup. <laughs> and so Dimble is nearly blind. That's why he has such thick glasses. And so whenever he does anything goofy or whatever, it's like, well, he's an old man. You can't, who, who can say, you know, <laughs> just an old crazy man. Usually Buttercup rolls higher than Dimble for some odd reason. Ah, oh, maybe Buttercup or something. Oh, this is when I was really into Tumblr. <laughs> Let me tell you, not so much the case anymore. I think it's just because I don't have tons of people that I watch on there and that not a lot of people watch me. And so, like, I don't post because nobody's going to look at my stuff. But, yeah, I don't quite know how people get into it. But Oh, this is when Splatoon was coming out. And I was playing it and really enjoyed it. Not very good at it. I'm really not good at a lot of video games, I'm realizing. Uh, <laughs> especially when like, my boyfriend is so good at them. So, yeah. But this was Splatoon and I really liked it. And it's it's fun to play. It's nice to have a shooter that's not about murder. Because I, tr I try not to um, immerse myself in uh, murder very much. <laughs> oh, my pit crew. Ooh, this was one what love win. Win, win, wins. Wind? I don't know. Wan? I don't think so. But, uh, yeah, then I started showing some of the, the hidden hearts that I actually, I put hearts in a lot of my character designs because I want love to be the basis of all that I do. And so, yep, uh, this was with the pride flag inside, uh, Pinta's uh, eye patch. It's actually a heart. We didn't notice it. And here's these two other dog characters that happen to have heart-shaped ears. They were both from my pit crew as well. And so they got the they got the pride flag there too. Oh, goodness, stop that little lamp. You stop that. Oh yeah, and then finally it was so nice to see all of the the social media rainbows. Um because when, um, that's when marriage became, you know, gay marriage just became marriage and, you know, it was legal and everything like that, then everybody was changing their Facebook profile picture to just had rainbow stripes over it. And I love rainbows and like wear rainbows all the time. And so to see all the social media rainbows and see all the love, it was just fantastic. Aha, uh -huh, yes. This is also uh, something that I realized that while everyone was doing the social media rainbows, there were some people that were putting up, you know, like the Confederate flag or whatever. And I was like, uh, no, we're not being friends anymore. I'm sorry, but you need to have, uh, you know, equality and compassion and understanding. Because if not, well, then screw you, buddy. <laughs> it was kind of how I felt. 
these are the dogs from Homeward Bound 2. Believe it or not, another sequel that this lady is quite fond of. I think it's from all the, the childhood, you know, delights that I feel from it. I don't know. Anyway, Chance, Delilah, the very cute dog couple, Shadow, Sassy. We got Pete and Ashcan, uh, Riley and, oh man, what's her name? Oh, Drat. I cannot remember her name. Shoot. But I think I left space to do the other sign every day. Oh, here's another one. The, well, I just made this dragon because I thought it would be fun. But when, um marriage was legal then people were or i don't know if it, they probably had already done this before um but they people were posting a lot of it of having the u.s flag mixed with the pride flag and making this flag and uh people were getting really bent out of shape about it and i guess some people were calling it disrespectful like, yeah disrespectful but for me i didn't i didn't think that this was a replacement to um the flag and I wouldn't I don't think I would want the flag replaced but I thought of it as you know just a like a spin-off a mashup you know like fan art I don't know but like I just I thought it was cool I thought it was cool and everybody was just like oh this is you know un-American and I'm like oh well that's kind of sad I thought it was just somebody expressing how you know how happy they were basically so is that the end I believe this little uh, armadillo maybe face is the end. All right. Thanks for watching. You can find more art on Facebook.com slash Art by Miranda. Toodaloo.